have long loved trade. The question is, has trade loved us back? Trade is what forged us, but has it helped us? Has it done enough for Ghana? Will trade us, we have done it all this well, take this country to the other level, the promised land of transformation and membership of the club of successful countries. The current fiscal issues facing Ghana, linked indelibly to the still lingering pandemic and protracted Russian-Ukraine conflict, have many have a huge impact on our trading activities. Much of the inflation now plaguing the country found its way here through trade. And the weakness of our currency can also trace its origins to the nature of our trading engagements so far. It is a problem only because of trade. Now, if you love your opinion in quantum rate like I do, which part of that meal needs dollars or pounds to prepare? If we were to look internally and produce what we eat, eat what we produce, and export the rest, this over reliance on the foreign currencies would be a thing of the past. But trade is both our making and our making. And that is why when the Continental Free Trade Agreement commenced full rollout in January 2021, the posture of many observers was that of cautious optimism. Yes, a Pan-African single market is a long-standing dream among all Pan-Africans. True. Many decades have been wasted without Africa getting its act together in the area of economic integration. But after was not the first time the burning desire for continental market has roused us in our little fragile countries and set our hopes on collective greatness. We all know of ECOWAS free movement of tree, uh, of goods and persons street. We saw the Abuja future. And even beyond the confines of Africa, some of us have embraced the World Trade Organization, African Growth and Opportunities um, Initiative, AGOA, and the Extended Partnership Agreements, the EPAs. We have seen various trade liberalization and economic integration projects come and go. So it's a fair question to ask that this time around, what is different? What's the big deal about Africa? And I'll be bold to venture an answer. What is different this time around is the mindset. The current twin challenges of COVID aftershocks and the effects of the Russia-Ukraine war on the global economy also present us a unique opportunity for us to realize that our destiny is in our own hands. And by looking within the continent to deepen our linkages, we can truly change the narrative and be truly self-sufficient. We need it. All the ingredients for our success lie right in front of us, and we can't afford to fail. Digital technology provides us with the means to achieve this objective this time around. We didn't have that before.
that will aid the actualization of the said dream. We in the AGI, as well as the private sector, welcome this initiative. The after number and the after common transaction identifier as a tool of operation needs awareness creation and further engagement with the private sector for a successful object. The expected primary outcomes from the after half is encouraging and I list a few. Create awareness among businesses. Provide a space for government business engagement. Refine the mandatory after number for e-commerce transactions and more. Promote a conducive dialogue between the business committee as well as Madam Minister. We are fairly aware that SMEs provide estimated 80% of jobs across our continent. It is imperative to state that the conscious attempt to help micro businesses grow to small businesses, then to medium and then to large scale businesses, it's urgent. The AGI, the Association of Ghana Industries, works with all industries and a number of service industries that play within this space. We do understand and appreciate the role of SMEs. Through our own effort, we have developed an enterprise resource planning program that assists us to support our various SMEs in managing their inventories, their finances, expose them to their potential customers. We also use our ERP system for business-to-business -business interactions between the SMEs and large-scale enterprises in the area of subcontracting. Thank <laughs> you.